Hello, it's Scott Manley here. This is a quick explainer as to how the crew docking is going to work. So this is from DM2. What happens is they're going to actually approach from below the station to a location called Waypoint Zero. This is because of the way orbital mechanics works. This is going to be, Waypoint Zero is going to be 400 meters below the station and that is the apogee of the orbit. Now once they get here, if they don't accelerate, they're going to fall back down. So they perform a maneuver which then accelerates them up towards a location in front of the station. That station is going to be waypoint one. That's 220 meters in front of the station just outside the keep out sphere. Now you can see this uh, traje this spacecraft. First of all, it's always pointing towards the station at this point because that's where its docking sensors are. The crew obviously aren't looking out the window, they're looking at their displays and you can see that display in the middle shows their projected orbit, right? That is the trajectory they would follow relative to the space station. So that's the path they're predicted to follow if there's no thruster firings. And they want to make sure that doesn't intersect with the space station until they are absolutely ready to dock. So they're carefully using thruster firings to push them up into this location in front of the station. On DM2, once they got there, they actually performed a bunch of manual thruster firings so that they could demonstrate that they had manual control of the spacecraft in this sort of neutral position in front of the station. Um, but in Crew 1, they're not going to need to do that. They're going to get to this location and then slowly begin moving inwards. Now, as they move inwards, by the way, that means they're now moving slower than the space station. So there will be a series of thruster firings to actually keep them from falling downwards, keep their lateral motion in check. At 20 meters out, that's waypoint two. They perform a series of checks and then provide the go, no go for docking. Actual final approach is extremely sedate. It's less than 10 centimeters per second, a few inches per second. And that is, of course, relative velocity. Both spacecraft are still moving at a speed of about eight kilometers per second. For crew one, the sun will set as they leave waypoint two. So final approach, contact and docking will occur in darkness.